trying to get a poison to my population. No reparations. I'm getting tired of safety. We are oppressed. I'm getting tired of waiting.
So, so yeah, yeah, this is this what he said, said on, Sunday, on Sunday, that the, that the U.S. shall respond, respond after, after these American, American troops were killed, killed and dozens, dozens more were injured in an overnight drone strike, strike in, in northeast Jordan, 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 near the, near the Syrian, Syrian border. border. The Biden Biden claims Iran-backed Iran Iran militias are for the first U.S. fatalities after months of strikes by such groups against the American forces across the Middle East since the start of the israel Hamas war. They said, they said Biden, Biden was traveling, traveling in South Carolina and asked for a moment of silence during an appearance at a Baptist church, church in the banquet hall. hall. I want I you all to pay attention, attention not, not to what, to I'm, what saying I'm saying about, about the, the strike, strike, but about, about where, where was Biden? Biden? Uh, where was where he was when he asked, asked for the, the silence, silence, the moment of silence, during an appearance at a Baptist church's banquet hall? Anyone care to venture? Uh, what, uh, type what type of church, church this was? was? I, mean, I mean, what type, type of people, people belong to this church? church. You know, I heard this. There they go pandering. I'm telling you all, boss, pay attention. Here the pandering starts. Now, every time it's election year, every time it's coming up close to election, what do they do? They go to the black church. Now he's at a Baptist church. Let's sit down somewhere, okay? Y'all don't get tired of this mess. The Democrats, the do nothing Democrats, they don't do anything for us. And then they always want to pander when it's time for election. Haven't done anything for you all the whole four years that he's been in office. Not a thing. Not a thing. Only people he's helped is immigrants. Let them give him their votes. Are y'all really going to vote for Biden again? Please don't. Please let's go. But let me continue. He says, he says we had a tough day last night in the Middle East. East. We, lost we lost three, three brave souls, souls in an attack on one of our bases. bases. Now, after, after the moment, the moment of, of silence, Biden said, said, and we, we shall, shall respond. respond. With, With an increasing, increasing risk, risk of military, military escalation in the region, region US, US officials, officials were working to conclusively identify the precise group responsible for the attack. Uh, but, uh, but they, they have, have assessed, assessed that, that one of several Iranian bank, bank groups, groups was, was behind. behind. Now, now Biden, Biden said in a written statement, statement that the United States, States will hold all those responsible to account at a time and in a manner of our, our choosing. Choosing. Defense the Secretary, Defense Secretary Lord Austin, Austin said, said, we will we take, take all necessary actions to defend the United States, our troops, and our infantry. Iran 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 their post, post fearing U.S. US airstrikes, airstrikes, according to Omar, Omar Abu Layla, a Europe-based Europe activist, activist who heads the uh, Dear Isor 24 Media Outlet. Out. Now, he now, he told the Associated Press that the areas are the, are the strongholds, strongholds of Mayadine and, and, and Boko Hope I said that right. U.S. Central, Central Command said, said that at least 34 troops were injured by the one attack, and this was a drone. Now, this is with eight flown out, out of Jordan for follow-up follow care. care. It, it, it described the eight as being in stable conditions. They said the large drone strike, uh, the large drone struck a logistic support base in Jordan, known as Tower 22. It is along the Syrian border and is used largely by troops involved in the advice and assistance missions for Jordanian forces. So anyway, Biden wants to start a war right now. Please pay attention. attention. So, oh, let me ask you this. Do you, Do you all, all ever, ever notice? notice? Her red oh, get off my bed, damn it. Okay. Do you, you all notice, notice this stuff? How, how there's, there's all, these all, all these talks of war, war retaliation, retaliation, and all that, that stuff, stuff, and going, going to black, black churches, churches, all that coming up to elections. It never fails. It literally never fails. Race is the civil war. Okay. That crazy era says war makes money, makes money for the government. government. Exactly. 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 That's, that's what you said at election, election time. time. You already you know. know. Okay. okay. This is all, all so crazy. crazy. Terry here said war monsters. Yes. yes. Absolutely. All right. But hold on. Because, because Joy, Joy Reed. Reed. Joy, Joy Reed, Reed has, has come out and apologized for dropping the F bomb when she was talking about Biden. She had a hot mic moment. Let's get into it. Joy, Joy Reid was caught was swearing, swearing by a live mic during, during a segment about President Joe Biden. Biden. Well, I'm, well, I'm sorry. sorry. I can't blame Joy, even though I can't, though I can't stand her. <laughs> Don't blame her because, because Biden will make me swear. swear. <laughs> Please, Please pay attention. Now, now during, during Monday's, Monday's edition, edition of the readout, readout 
the MSNBC host dropped the F bomb through those who unclear what she was referring to. They know exactly what she was referring to because I did. The host the introduced a discussion about the border, border crisis, crisis and then cut to a clip of the, the Democrat president of South, South Carolina speech, speech on Saturday. Saturday. Uh, he, uh, said, he said, if that, that bill were the law today, today I'd, I'd shut, shut down, down the border, the border now and fix it quick. quick. And, and Congress, Congress needs, needs to get it, get it done. done. Biden was referring to a bipartisan Senate border deal uh, that would give him powers to shut down the southern border when it becomes overwhelmed. Now, its now, progress, progress has been stalled by Republicans and Democrats alike, with former with President Donald Trump, Trump urging Republican, Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson, Johnson to only to accept it if it is perfect, perfect on, the on the board. board. Now, immigration has emerged, has emerged as a major, as a major issue, issue ahead, ahead of the 2024 presidential, presidential election. election. In, December, In December, micro, micro counties, counties at the U.S.-Mexico US border average, average more than 9,500 per day, according to the U.S. government data. Some Republicans, Some Republicans have said uh, that they will only further, they will only provide further aid to Ukraine amid its war with Russia if a solution to the border crisis is, is found. Seemingly unaware, unaware that her mic was on, Joy Reid dropped the F-bomb. Okay, okay so, so let's, let's go ahead and play, play the clip. clip. Let's go ahead and play the clip. Life's like Urban Moon's Life is Shared Sacred Events. President, President Biden, Biden said he's, he's ready to take action, action if Congress, if Congress is, serious is serious about solving, solving the border, border issue. issue. If that bill were the law today, I'd shut down the border right now and fix it quickly. And Congress needs to get it done. Another four. <laughs> Still, Still trying, trying to kill, to kill a deal. deal. Said, she said, she said it's it's another effing war. war. That's, That's what, what she said. said. And so, and so then she apologized. Joy Reid apologized, apologized after, after cursing and hot mics starting another effing war. And so, and so during this segment titled, titled Republicans, Republicans Take Credit for Stuff, stuff they, voted they Voted Against, against. Reid said, Reed said, that, said the that the party ties themselves to, into pretzels to, to do nothing for the American, American people for the sake of Donald Trump. Because, uh, case in point, fixing what they say is a crisis at the border. Uh, with uh, congressional, congressional negotiators continuing to work on a bipartisan deal to tie back policy, policy changes, changes to the funding of Ukraine. Ukraine. Uh, this, this is what she said. Over, Over the weekend, weekend President Biden said he's ready to take action, action if, Congress if Congress is serious about solving the border, border issue. issue. Reed then played a clip of President, President Joe Biden, Biden giving a speech during a political event in Columbia, South Carolina, saying that if that bill were the law today, I'd shut down the border right now and fix it quickly. Congress needs to get it done. During the During clip, Reed's mic turned on, on and she could be heard saying, say, starting, starting another effing war. war. Though the context, the context in which Reed made the comment, comment remains unclear, unclear. Uh, those, uh, those on social, social media were quick to assume, assume that she was referring to Biden. Of course she was referring to him, and they know, they know it. it. Trying, Trying to play dumb, like, like they don't know the context. Exactly, she was talking about Biden. Starting another effing war, just like she said. Now, now, those, those want to say, say later, later on the show, show Reed took, took a moment to apologize to her audience. audience. She, says, she says, I was, I was chatting, chatting during a clip, clip that was played, and, you, and know, you know, we tried, we tried to keep this show very PG-13, PG-13. Uh, so, so I just I want to apologize to anyone who was listening to my behind-the-scenes chatter. Deeply, deeply apologize for that. Girl, we know you're ghetto. Joe, we know you're really ghetto, okay? You try to act all prim and proper, but at the end of the day, we know who you really are. All right, sit down somewhere. Sit down, down somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> this, is this is all the first. She knows she, she talks about that on a regular. She were dancing, she's trying to start going Okay. Queen Sam said her mic was kept on. on. They, they know what they were doing. Yeah, they probably did, huh? That's all the first. Joy knows no downside. She's good. Stop, Stop playing, playing with us. us. Stop, Stop playing with us. Okay? <laughs> now, now, let's talk about the nefarious of it all. all. Like, like up, everyone, please, please like and share. share. This, this father, father shot, shot the child's, child's mother, mother in the back, back of the, of the head, head and, and then abducted the, the girl. girl. According, According to authorities, authorities, this is all so sad, sad including nefarious. Kentucky, Kentucky authorities, authorities put out an Amber Alert after a man allegedly shot his child's mother in the back of the head and then, and then took the daughter. daughter. 
The suspects, the suspect, Byron, Byron Black, Black age 42, 42, and the missing, missing daughter, daughter Leela Black, age 5, five were last, last seen and heard, and heard from, from on Friday, Friday according, according to the state, state police, police which dispatched, dispatched, who were dispatched to the murder scene on, on Sunday. Sunday. Uh, they uh, say he is suspected to be armed and dangerous. Now, on January 28th, KSC was dispatched to the residence that the juvenile was known to reside in, in Princeton, Kentucky. Authorities, authorities, uh, authorities discovered, discovered Leela's, Leela's mother, 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 Kelly Black, Black was deceased. Uh, they uh, say through investigation, it was determined that Black received a gunshot shot to the back of the head. Investigators determined that Leela and her father, Byron Black, had not been heard from since Friday. Officers believe that the father carried out the killing and they put out an arrest warrant on him in addition to his Amber Alert. Investigators suggest that he and Leela could be in a white 1996 Chevrolet Silverado with a California license plate 5 JSD Jack 83779. It's paint is off the hood, they say. Leela is described as white with brown hair and brown eyes. She stands 3 feet 6 inches tall and weighs about 40 pounds. Byron, Byron Black, Black is described, described as white, white with brown hair and brown eyes. eyes. He stands about 60 feet and weighs about 180 pounds. Anyone, Anyone with information, information regarding, regarding any of this uh, should call 270-676-3313. All right, now let me just put this picture up on the screen. The little girl looks just like her father. Bless her heart. I hope she gets returned home safe. He's already taken out her mother, unfortunately. That's, That's him right, right there. there. The little girl looks just like him, like I said. Okay, okay thanks, Desmond. Desmond, Desmond, Desmond said she was found, found safe. safe. Thank God. God. You know, you, you never know, know what, what these crazy devils are going, going, going to do. do. All, right, All right, so, so now we've got all been said. Like, 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 share, thank you in advance. Now let's talk about Megan Stallion. Because Megan Stallion may be sued. Uh, they, uh, they say, say that Richard Kanska, I believe that's his last, last name, the man, the man who's, who's the father, father of, the of the little girl who's, who's the cause for making law. law. He, said he said he was absolutely, absolutely outraged. He was deplorable. The song, song that Megan did hit his, his okay, okay, her, her diss at Nicki Minaj. Minaj. And, and uh, basically, basically, she said she something about making law, law in it. So let me just read you the lyrics. What is, is Megan's law? law? Controversy, Controversy behind Megan Stallion's his lyrics to explore. Okay. okay. And Monique Slaughter got called out because she was suggesting that, that in fact, fact Megan should be sued. sued. And, so and so people, people went in on her. Honey. I mean, they were talking about her. They dragged her for field. I mean, they really did. On January 26th, rapper Megan Stallion released her latest single, Hit a diss track. The lyrics of the song mentioned Megan's law, which is now stirred up a controversy on social media. Okay? okay. And so here's what they say. For those unaware, Megan's law refers to a federal law in the USA that keeps track of the movements of SEX offenders, post prison release, and requires them to register changes with the state after moving as per the law. Now, now, it came, it came into, effect into effect in 1994, 1994 after, 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 previously, after, previously, after a previously, previously convicted child molester, Jesse, Jesse uh, Timodakwas, great race without, without the G, G and, and murdered murder his then seven-year-old seven year neighbor, neighbor, Megan, Megan Kanka. Ever, ever since, since the law, law ever since, since the law has, law been, has, has protected minors, minors across the country. country. Singer, Singer, songwriter, songwriter and reality TV, TV show Monique Slaughter brought this to everyone's, to everyone's attention in a now deleted tweet, tweet uh, where uh, she slams Megan Thee Stallion for including Megan's Law, law in her recent diss track. track. Well, well, let's hear what she has to say. If I were making Kanka's family, I would take every red cent from those single sales. I'd lawyer up, and that video would be snatched from every platform. That's what Monique said. Now, let me just pull up the receipts, because they went in on Monique's, like I said. They clearly went in on her and read her profile. Like, like up, everyone, everyone please like and share. Thank you in advance. I'm going to share my screen so you all can see this. Terry Harper said a whole mess, okay? Uh, please uh, stand so everybody should be sued for telling the truth. 
No, no. they're talking, talking about, about suing Megan Thee Stallion because, because she used, used a reference of Megan's, of Megan's law. law in her in song. Her she was dissing Nicki. She, she said they're they're, they're, worried they're worried about uh, they're, they're not worried about Megan. They're worried about Megan's law or something like that. Hold on. We'll get into those lyrics in a minute. But here's what Monique had to say. She said, she said, suck, suck my, my D. D. Say, Say sorry, sorry and, and shut up. up. Uh, uh, you, you dumb, dumb dusty, 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 dusty idiots. idiots. Next, Next MF, MF to threaten to uh, uh, drape, drape her, her without, without a D. D. And, and unalive myself for my son. Get blown the F, F back, back. And I, I put that on my life. life. Now, now try, try me again, again stupid F. Woo, the lady. She says, she says, imagine, imagine your, your, now this, this is, is what she, what she first posted. posted. Imagine, imagine your seven year old daughter is, is, is uh, uh, great and, and murdered, murdered by, by a neighbor. neighbor. You, fight you fight for legislation to be passed. passed. He's, He's put, put on, on death, death row, row, but the death penalty was, was abolished, abolished in that state, state. So, so his sentence, sentence was commuted to life without the So now you have to live without your baby. You have to live in using that the killer, the killer is still, is still alive, alive as well. well. I think I she, she, that was the typo she, she put using. using. I don't know, I don't that know, doesn't that sound like it goes there. But anyway, anyway a law on your departed daughter's, daughter's, daughter's name and honor is passed. And now, now for the first, first time, time in over a decade, decade, your daughter, your daughter is, trendy. is trendy. Your wound is reopened. And your wound is reopened because of yikes. Use it as a bar and a diss track. Shaking my head. If I were making Hanson's family, she means K because that's the family name. Uh, family, I would take every red cent from those single cells. I'd blow her up, and that video would be snatched from every platform. I'd sue for emotional damages, and I'd be mad that the barber chase and I gag order the artists. Period. Don't, don't profit, profit off, off my grief. Well, well, don't hold back. Let know how you really, really feel. feel. Okay, okay, so now after, after she said all of that, that TMZ, TMZ reported, reported that, that Richard Tanka, the father, the father of Maybe, is actually, is actually thinking about the suit. suit. And here and it is, right here. Let's talk about, about it. it. Hold on. Like up, everyone. Please like and share. Thank you in advance. Okay, here, okay, here, we, here go. we go. I'm trying, I'm trying to find, to find TMZ, TMZ article, article because, because he actually, actually talked, talked to TMZ. TMZ. Okay, here, here it is. And here's, here's what they, what they say. say. 14 hours, hours ago. ago. Megan Thee Stallion, Stallion. Megan's, Megan's law line, line blasted by, by Kanka family, family, family as disrespectful and, and offensive. Now they go on to say... The, the Megan Thee Stallion's, Stallion's beef with Nicki Minaj, Minaj has invoked a famous, famous law aimed to protect people from SES predators. predators. And, the and the father of the girl who is named, who is named who is after isn't happy, happy about it. Now, now Richard Kanka, and let me let put me him put up on the screen. screen. Let me let put, put Richard Kanka and his daughter on the screen. Like, like, everyone please like and share. Thank you in advance. Okay, okay, goes, goes on to say, say Richard Kanko, whose daughter, daughter Megan Kanko, was murdered in the 90s uh, by, by a predator, a predator uh, who at who the time was legally required to identify himself, himself in his neighborhood, neighborhood and, and who Megan's law is inspired by, is fuming over Megan Thee Stallion's casual dropping his daughter's, daughter's name in hits, the diss track that kicked off this new view between her and Nicki Minaj. Now he now tells TMZ that Megan dragging make his late daughter's, 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 daughter's name into the expletive riddled song and that Nikki is as disrespectful as it gets. Okay? okay? And he and knows, knows that Megan the Stallion actually, actually appeared to shed light on the law, which she does, which she does, and it doesn't change, it doesn't change his sour feeling. So the basically said, said that Megan using the song, or mentioning the law in the song has brought light to it. Because some, some people may not have even known about Megan's law, but definitely know what I was talking about. about. Uh, so, so he said he that, that doesn't take away from what she did. Okay. okay. For the for record, record, the lyrics in question are, are these, these hoes don't, don't be mad, mad at Megan. Megan. These hoes mad, mad at Megan's, Megan's law. law. That's, That's what they said. Now, a bit of a morbid history lesson. 
The bill, the bill that turned turn into Megan's law came into effect a month after, after the brutal, brutal murder and, and rape of, of Richard's then seven-year-old seven daughter. Old daughter. Devastation, Devastation Richard still lives, lives with to this day. day. So, so understandably, it's a deeply, deeply sensitive, sensitive subject. They say they he say does he admit Megan's rap as of his cup of tea. tea. Uh, so uh, the so only way he found out about it was, was one of the kids told him. Now, now he, says, he says he still he still, he still, he still chose, chose not to listen, not to listen, uh, not uh, to not listen to though, though, and instead read, read in his, his lyrics, lyrics to see to what see exactly what he said, said about his daughter, his daughter. saying, saying like, 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 uh, like like we said, said the guy, guy still, still takes, takes offense, offense over it, even, even though, though uh, some say, say that it could be used as a positive. Anybody saying this could be used as a positive is grasping for straws. I'm sorry. I like, I like making a statement and all that, that, but anybody, anybody saying, saying that her, her using this law in a diss track is a positive, please, please make, make it all make sense. sense. Well, let me let continue. Me. Uh, there's oh, also, also this. this. Richard tells TMZ that, that the song left such a bad taste in his mouth that he's actually, actually considering looking into his legal options to see if Meg's track went too far. Unfortunately for Richard, there's probably not much he can do on that front. Artists have liberties, liberties which, which, uh, uh, when, when it comes, comes to wordplay, word referencing, referencing big, big moments, moments historically, historically and, and, and which is exactly, exactly what Megan did here. here. Uh, so, and so even, even though he's, he's mad, mad, a threat of legal action, action feels good. Anyway, anyway when it's this has only escalated since Meg did the first, first shot. shot. Nikki fired back with her own diss track called Big Foot, and people have mixed reactions to it, good and bad. Now there's a new angry part in the in the mix, in the party mix. Um, Megan Hank's father, father, and he, and he sounds, sounds shitty. Okay, so here's the thing. First, First of, all, of all, my, my question, question is, is my, my question, question is, is um, why did Nikki even, even respond? respond? Does anybody Does have anything to say about that? No, Nikki has been firing shots for years, says Brad Stenson. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe she has, she has I, don't know, I don't know, I haven't been keeping up. Brad Slay says, Nikki too. Sue Nikki for what? Nikki for what? <laughs> what did what Nikki, did Nikki do? <laughs> do? At the end of the day, Brad says, Nikki, you go. go. All right. All right. Um, um, here's, here's the thing. thing. Nikki has been doing this since a while. Well, here's the thing. They say Nikki is reportedly um, not happy because Megan did the song Walk with Cardi B, and of course she doesn't like Cardi B and all of that. But this is also Childish in High School, as far as I'm concerned. And my opinion, uh, Brad Stacey said, said Nikki's press place like she responded. Well, clearly it made Nikki's press too, because she did the this. My thing is, both of them seem like they're press, and both of them seem like they just, you know, just are just ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. Because here's the thing. Megan made the song. Okay, Juju said Megan's been fired shots. Honey, I don't know who's been fired on them. Some of y'all said Nikki, some said Megan. At the end of the day, why is anybody fired shots? Why? Why? Just, Just do your, your music, music and mind your, your business. business. Why, Why is everybody, everybody hating on everybody? Because right? that's what it seems like. like. It, it seems like these like rap beats are just are all manufactured. Since, Since the record labels, labels put them up to it, I have so many questions. But at the end of the day, here's the thing. I think Nikki should have just kept her mouth shut. Why add fuel to the fire? If Megan did a diss track, I would not have even responded. Okay? I would not even have responded. Sophie Love says, all I see is Murphy, okay? That crazy, crazy bitch, Eric said it at the gym. Queen, Queen Sam said, said neither, neither one will, one will ever, ever pay, pay my bills. bills. Either, either way, it's, it's not, not super worth it. Right. right. Crystal, Crystal said, said they're probably, they're probably friends, friends behind, behind the scenes. scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, Crystal said, said they're they're probably probably friends friends behind behind scenes. Scenes. <laughs> you know, you never know. Okay? Crystal said this is publicity. Claudette said, all so stupid. Right. Well, you know, I don't say like this. Nobody, Nobody was really talking about, about Megan Thee Stallion, Stallion until, until this, this all happened. happened. Please, Please pay attention. Pay attention. Nobody, Nobody was talking, was talking about, about Megan before, before she did the this song, song and then Nikki responded. responded. So, so Nikki should have just kept her mouth shut. I wouldn't have even responded, responded at the end of the day. I wouldn't have even responded. responded. Okay? okay. Brielle, Brielle said, said it's probably for media. media. I forgot about that possibility. It could be. Rex said they all have shelf lives. Exactly. Y'all know, know they be manufacturing beef just for publicity. publicity. Whether when albums, albums are coming out, out, you know, the record labels, labels sometimes put them up to it allegedly. All this all could just be a whole publicity stuff, stuff like Timber Dan did. Absolutely. Love her. Said Nikki has been throwing shots for the longest, though. Maybe she has. Maybe she has. I don't know. 
Uh, but, but I, I, I like, like Nicki. Nicki. I mean, I, I mean, like, like Nicki, Nicki, Nicki too, but Nicki's Nicki music is better. better. If y'all ask me what I think, I think, I think, I think Nicki's Nicki the better rapper, rapper of all of these. Of these. Cardi, Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, City Girls. Yeah, I think Nicki is the best of all of them. So, so people, people be saying Nikki's hating, but I don't know why she be hating. hating. She, looks she looks better, better, than, all all better than all of them, and she raps better than all of them. Sorry. Sorry. That's, That's my opinion. opinion. Okay. okay. They're crazy. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. The Juju, the Juju said, said preach queen. Clearly, Juju, 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 Juju is a Nikki fan. Like, like, like myself. myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably, probably, says, and probably says, and Nikki writes her own raps, raps period. period. Okay? okay? She doesn't she like anyone like who deals with Cardi, says, says H Town. Probably not. Y'all go and eat. Hold on. Let me get these, these comments, comments, honey. honey. Miss Battle said, said Nikki and her, her Nikki had, had her turn, turn but can't, can't take it. it. Uh, can't take can't it that, take that other woman rap. rap. She, she is the, the only one. one. She, she is the deep jealous. jealous. If she, she is, is, I don't, I don't know, know why. She could be. I'm not saying she is. But if she is, I don't know why. Because they're not they're not any competition to her. Okay? They're not any competition. Uh, uh, someone, someone will always, always come, come and dethrone you, though, says Miss Bell. This is true. true. This is true. Listen, listen, everybody, everybody has their moment. moment. Okay? okay? Everybody, everybody has their moment at the end of the day, right? Right. Now she says she don't listen to any of them. Reggie said Cardi is Kamala Harris. And so anyway, cut off. At the end of the day, it's all a bunch of foolishness as far as I'm concerned. I just, for one, don't think Nikki should have said anything in response. Uh, um, once, once Megan, Megan did, did the little diss track, track, I don't think she should have I would have kept silent. That's just that's me. me. That's, that's just me. me. I wouldn't have said a word. word. Okay. okay. That's, that's what, what I wouldn't have done. done. And now, now you, know, you know, this man wants to sue Megan, but like they say, it's not going to really go anywhere because freedom of speech. She didn't make any threats or say anything defamatory against the family of the daughter. She just used it as wordplay. So, so, you know, you know I, could I could understand, understand him being, being upset, upset though. though. I, would I would probably, probably be upset, upset too because, because that's, that's bringing up old wounds. wounds. That's rehashing that's things, things that I'm that sure they want to leave in the past. past. But at the end of the day, she has the right to speak. That's just what it is. Okay, so like up, everyone, please. Get the likes up. Thank you in advance. Thank you in advance. So, anyway. So, now let's talk about it. Like some airport, please like, like and share. Let me pull up my receipt real quick. quick. So, this, so this man, man this, this is all crazy, crazy including the Ferris. I want you all to pay attention. This, this man, man literally, literally bit off, off a, chunk a chunk of his, his ex girlfriend's nose after finding out that she got a job at a strip club. This fool bit off a piece of her nose. Like, what kind of sexy fool is that? Let me show you all what this thug looks like because this is all so crazy. He pulled a whole hand of electric just because the girl got a job at a strip club. I mean, if you're that bad and pressed, just break up with her. Why would you do that to somebody? Been a piece of her nose. This is all horrible. Okay, a 34 year old man in Texas has been accused of disfiguring his ex girlfriend in a domestic violence incident, allegedly biting off a piece of her nose after learning that she had been working at a local strip club. Honey, I'll take the store back all this. All crazy. David Morgan Jr. was taken into custody on Friday and charged with one count of aggravated assault, resulting in serious bodily injury over the alleged attack. Goes on to say. The assault, the assault allegedly took place last summer, summer on July the 24th of 2023. Court documents not obtained by the Merch Sun Star provided additional details about, about the incident. incident. Now, according, now, according to, the report, to the report, Morgan, Morgan and his girlfriend, girlfriend have, been have been dating for about seven, seven months. months. They only been dating for seven, seven months, months and he's that crazy, crazy he wants to bite off her nose because she wants to get in a line of work that he doesn't approve of. This is what happens when you ignore the red flag. Please pay attention. This is exactly what happens because I'm sure 
sure that he has shown signs of aggression, hostility, and violence in the past. Okay, okay, so, so anyway, anyway, they separated about, about two weeks before the incident. More importantly, moved, moved his personal belongings out of the victim's apartment, apartment at the time. time. At the time, he moved out. Now, however, Morin, on July the 23rd, reportedly tried to call the victim several times, only to have those calls ignored. Angry about not receiving a response, police said that Morin, at about 1 a.m. on July the 24th, broke into the victim's apartment, getting in the residence by breaking a window and climbing on inside. While, While inside, inside, the, 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 While inside, inside the victim's the home, Warren reported came across employment, employment documents, documents indicating, indicating that the victim, that the victim had, been had been working, working or had applied to, to work at a local strip club. club. The discovery the of the documents, documents angered Warren, and, and the two got into a verbal altercation, altercation that quickly escalated, escalated uh, with Warren allegedly grabbing the victim by the throat and choking her for about 10 seconds before finally realizing releasing his grip. Oh, this, this is, is all crazy. crazy. The victim the then attempted, attempted to, get to get to the front, front door, door uh, uh, which is when Lord allegedly grabbed her again and, and bit her, her face, face, ripping up a chunk of her nose. Who had it? Talk about biting off your nose to spite your face. face. This is all oh, crazy. This is all crazy. crazy. Wow. Reggie said he bought a lead sandwich. This is taking a bite out of crime, though. This is not funny. Someone said this dude is cray cray edible lecture. Honey, he's been off our nose. Reminds me of that movie Seven. Y'all remember that movie Seven? When he cut off her nose to spite her face? Timber Dan said he was a nosy boyfriend. Jeff ATF said he was Mike Tyson, man. Red said, come through my window at night. Honey, please. One hot hot to go. Brielle said a lead sandwich. Terry Hart was an animal in GE. This is all crazy. Right? So let me continue because I cannot. Uh, uh, so, so he bit off the chunks of her, her nose. nose. Following, Following the attack, attack Morin allegedly fled, fled from, the from the scene. The victim, the victim was subsequently brought to a hospital, hospital where she was referred to a plastic surgeon. This is this all, this is all so sad. sad. For real, I'm still for cracking jokes. Crack this, this is not funny to me. This is absolutely not funny. Why would you do this figure somebody like that? Like, this is all crazy, honey. Morin was taken into custody on Friday and transported to the Bexar County Jail, jail where he is currently being held on a $75,000 bond. bond. Morin's attorney, Sharon Thorne, did, did not immediately respond to an email. email. This is this not Morin's first run in with the law. law. He, was he was arrested, arrested in 2013, 2013 and charged with murder. Girl, where did you find him? See, this is why you got to do background checks, people. This is why you have to do background checks. The victim reportedly told police that the alleged attack came about after a year of dating, during which time Morgan would not allow the victim to work or see her friend. He didn't want her to work at a regular job, so let alone you think you want this one to go to a strip club. He was charged with assault of a pregnant person. That case was dismissed over a missing witness. Why are all these witnesses against this fool coming up missing and not showing up to court? Is he doing something to them? I believe he is. I believe he is. Oh, crazy. Timber Dan said it sounds like a whole home, but he absolutely is. This is oh, oh, sick. sick. Wow. wow. Mm-hmm. 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 This, 
this is all crazy. crazy. Then her, her nose, nose oh, honey, I yeah, cannot. I don't know about y'all. I don't know about y'all, honey. But at the end of the day, this is all crazy. All crazy. Mm-hmm. Hold, Hold on. on. Now let's, now let's talk, talk about this one. Missy Newlywed. So, so happy on her wedding, wedding day. day. Missy Newlywed found, found dead, dead under, under clothes, clothes and back, back of SUV, SUV was victim of foul hunt, according to police. police. Cassidy, Cassidy Ritchie, Ritchie was found, was found in, the in the damaged SUV. SUV. That's, That's where the police found her body. body. Now, the now search for a 39 year old mother in Oklahoma who was missing less than a month after getting married came to a tragic end over the weekend. When police, when police found, found her body, body beneath clothing in the backseat of her heavily damaged, damaged SUV, SUV court 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 court. Court. Now, now they, they say that the Tulsa Police, Police Department officers uh, found, found Cassie, Cassie, Cassie Bridget dead, dead in the back of her 2006 Chrysler Pacifica on Sunday morning. Authorities said, said that Richie had been had last seen alive, alive on Saturday, Saturday January 20th, 2023. Uh, she was she reported missing, missing by her family, family members after they had not heard from her and were unable to reach her for several days. Police on Thursday put out a missing and endangered uh, uh, missing and endangered an alert, alert for Richie, for Richie and, which and which they described her light light SUV, SUV and noted, and noted uh, that, uh, that she's, she's been involved in a domestic disturbance. So, so a domestic disturbance already? Wow. I think I they, they have the wrong date, date on here. here. Because they because said they she was reported missing Saturday, January 20th of 2023. We're in 2024. Okay, okay, and they're saying this happened days ago, so they have wrong. This one I've been telling y'all, they be having all these typos and stuff. I don't know who's the editor, but let me continue. Let me continue. Now, now, police, police on Thursday, January 25th, put out a missing, missing and endangered alert for Richie, in which, in which they, they described her light blue SUV, SUV and noted uh, that she has been involved in a domestic disturbance. The vehicle was discovered abandoned on the highway the following day in what appeared to be suspicious circumstances. They said, they we, said have, we have reason to believe that Richie may have been the victim of foul play, play and left and some, and, and then just left, left somewhere on Highway 412 uh, between, uh, between Tulsa, Tulsa and Enola. This is what the police, police said in a January 26th release. Now, in a now, Facebook, Facebook post, post, police, police attached, attached a photograph of Richie's SUV, SUV showing so significant damage, damage to the front end, front, front bumper, bumper, and hood and of the vehicle. Of the vehicle. Authorities, Authorities also, also noted that the, that the car, car had extensive off-road debris on it at the, at time, the time it was discovered. The, the post again reiterated, reiterated that Richie has been involved in prior in domestic, uh, domestic violence incidents. Incident. And they, they hadn't had had been, been married, married that long. long. Investigators on January 27th continued to search, search for Richie and asked the public to help in locating her. Okay, and so they say a good Samaritan to help pull Richie's car out of the ditch near the I don't, I don't care, care bar and grill, grill sometime between January 21st and 23rd. Uh, they, uh, they say the bar is located, located at 11,000 on the 11,000 11, block, block of East 590 Road on Contusa in Contusa, Oklahoma, which is about 20 miles east of Tulsa. So they say the Samaritan helped her out. They say we do suspect foul play in this case. Two days after locating Richie's vehicle, authorities obtained and executed a search warrant for the car, where they discovered her body underneath clothing in the back of the SUV. They said we previously reported that Richie was involved in a prior domestic violence incident. Several of them, detectives are currently investigating this case as a homicide. They say they anyone with the information relevant to the investigation is urged to call Tulsa Police or Tulsa Crime Stoppers at 918-596-6. Okay, that's okay, COPS. That's COPS. Now, now, court, court records, records reviewed review by Law and Crime show that Richie, on January 7th, married, married Chris Edward Morton. Morton. On January 25th, Morton, Morton was arrested by officers with the Tulsa Police Department on an unrelated warrant out of Medina County, County, Texas, where he is charged with theft and greater than $750, charged with theft, greater than $750, but less than $2,500. He is currently being held without bond as a fugitive from justice. Uh, they, uh, say they say Lieutenant, Lieutenant Brandon, Brandon Watkins, Watkins reportedly told Tulsa Fox affiliate KOKI that Marlon is a person of interest in his death of his wife. Police are still working with, with the district attorney's office to determine proper, proper jurisdiction over the case, case but, but authorities, authorities are, are reportedly expected to file first degree murder charges against Marlon imminent. Richie's brother told Tulsa NBC affiliate KJRA that his sister's wedding day bliss earlier this month. 
changed change quickly, quickly following her marriage to Gordon. Gordon. She, she was so, so happy, happy at her, her wedding, wedding day. day. This is what her brother, brother said. said. I don't know if she just—I don't know if she was just too scared, too scared to say anything. But it was just a whole—he was just a whole different person after the marriage. Honey, he wasn't a whole different person after the marriage. He was that same person all along. And either he just let the real self come out because he'd been faking, or. She, she knew, knew what kind of person, person he was, was and married him anyway. anyway. Condolences to the family. family. This, this is all the Here she here is she right, is right here. here. And by, and the, by fact the fact that the vehicle, that the vehicle is, is damaged, damaged leads, leads me, me to, to think that, that they were likely fighting in the car. car. Like possibly she was driving and he was in the car fighting her or doing something. And that's why the car probably wrecked. And then, and then he just, he just took, took her out, out and hid her under her clothes and back This is all crazy. Uh, they, they said a person can only fake it for so long. This is true. true. This, this is true. true. Prince of Paraphrase said, told y'all, this, this is a wild crime. crime. Yeah, this, no, this is, is a wild crime. crime. Y'all know what wild crime stands for. White on white crime, This is a wild crime. Wild crime. Uh, so, so anyway, with that all being said, my job, job here is done for now. Claudette said it's a shame. It is a shame. How many people might not know this is, right? right? Over, Over your, your job. job. And then, and then people, people take, take you out, out within, le within, within less than a month, month of the wedding. This is all crazy. Bibia said the demons are multiplying. Absolutely, they are. Oh, so scary, Sunday. Like I said, can those to the family. I mean, I mean, so, so much, much for marital to lit. Oh, oh crazy. Crazy. Anyway, anyway, you all be sure to like and share. Claudette says this is Satan's world. world. You, you already know. know. You already you know. know. Terry, Terry, said, Terry Harper said this is the end, end of Peace Song. Now she said they all took the venom. Reggie said, gotta keep your head on a swivel. Y'all are so embarrassed. Let me just tell you all something. Hold on. I forgot to make my morning announcements, so let me just do them now. First and foremost, beloved, and for those of you who didn't get the memo, there was a video posted for members on the spiritual channel yesterday. It was the metaphysical explanation of why Jesus walked on water. So if you missed it, it was really good. Please go back and watch if you remember. And then for those of you who are not members, I'll be posting a premiere for you shortly. And, and also, also just, just to remind you guys, guys that, that we're having, we're having trivia, trivia this Friday, Friday for, the for the members on the, on the spiritual, spiritual channel. channel. Okay, okay, we're having, we're having uh, uh, trivia, trivia on Friday, Friday for the members, members on the spiritual, the spiritual channel. channel. So please, so please make sure you're tuning in and, and watching watch those lives. I'm giving out the new ebook. Okay. Daily, daily prayers, prayers for your royal spirit. Okay. And so that all being said. Make, Make sure, sure you tune, you tune in. in. And, and also, also just, to just to let you all know, know that, that February, February the 7th, February, February the 7th, I'm interviewing, I'm interviewing uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Raymond Montreux, who, who was, was Dr. Dr. King's, King's driver. driver. Okay? okay? Dr. King's, King's driver. driver. He has some interesting stories, stories and he's going to talk, talk about, about Dr. King as he knew him personally in life. We're going to get into it and that's the start of Black History Month, which we should all be celebrating Black History Month. Uh, throughout, uh, throughout the year. The year. It, should it should be a month. month. It should be three. It should be the entire year, year, right? Right. Don't you, Don't all, you all agree? agree? Juju said, love you the life. I love the red black. Okay. P.O.P. said, love you. I love you too. All right. Y'all know I love my lawyer. Right. 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 So that all being said, don't miss it. All right? Don't miss it. We're going to have a lot of things going for Black History Month. You all know how I bring up all these stories. You know, the Morris Ford Bridge, 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 Bridge and all that stuff, stuff. Uh, uh, at, the at the end of the day. day. Uh, so, so, make, make sure, sure you all tune in. in. Okay, okay, this interview, I have been, I have been waiting, waiting on it. On it's it's going to be epic. epic. And, and uh, uh, with that, that all say, you know, no, we, we need, need to get information from our elders whenever we can. Okay? See, a lot of these little new generations, these new generations, whatever you call y'all, y'all, a lot, a lot of, of them, them do, do not, not have, have respect, respect for their, their elders. elders. They don't they have, have respect, respect for their elders. elders. They, they sit there and talk so crazy. crazy. You know, no, don't, don't respect, respect them and all of that, that curse them out, and just all, all this foolishness. We didn't we do, do that, that when I was a kid. We were taught to respect our elders. 
that's, that's, that's who you learn from. from. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's 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 Juju said, said, miss my, my evil queen. Yes, yes, indeed. I know. I love it. Well, all you have to do is join the spiritual channel. All right, because, because I'm going to be giving. giving. You're already, You're already on, on the spiritual channel, Juju. Uh, but, but for those, for those who aren't, yes, yes. I will be I'll giving away a free ebook, e-book on Friday, Friday for those that are members on the spiritual, on the spiritual channel. channel. All right. All right. Um, um, Danielle says, Queen, Queen, my daughter used to attend a private black school that taught black history year round. Exactly. That's what we need to be doing, beloved. That's exactly what we need to be doing. Okay, so that all makes sense. I want to I thank, thank you all for tuning in. Everyone please like and share. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to turn the, the notification bell because we're all so notified to have the God is going to live. And also, uh, don't, don't forget, forget to double check and make sure you still subscribe because I'm telling you, when I got on the main channel, there was already two people unsubscribed. And I think I know who these people are. Please pay attention. So make sure that you still subscribe to the channel because you all know how to get it. You all know how to get that. Oh, all right, let me just show you all this real quick. Jesus. Kim? Kim?
other one on, on, on their necks. necks. Drop your receipts on haters, you better show some respect. I'm never facing regrets, we only facing the threats. Running through every challenge like a relay, break no sweat. It's a cold game, so I got that breaking with me. Now that my people are waking, ain't no going to sleep. I do not play by my peace. This time I'm playing for keeps. You talking slick, but when I see you like them ends, we gon' meet. And now I go all of my skin. God all of my blood. Kings all of my circle, you touch one of my